Hi, we're looking at the Kenwood THD 7 um, A. Actually, this is uh, the G version. Um, these are really, really nice radios. They're really in demand. They're getting hard to find in good shape. Um, the reason they're really nice is because they got their data communicators. They got built in TNC, which does 1200 or 9600 baud, provides uh, APRS automatic packet uh, position reporting system uh, lets you uh, transmit your coordinates to a friend who can then pinpoint where you're at using a computer uh, map so uh, you can connect the GPS to this please don't ask me how because I really have never done it but what's really really nice is the uh, G version which this one is can do the Kenwood Sky Command System 2 Plus Basically, uh, if you've got a TS-2000 or some other select Kenwood radios, it will let you remote control the base, sideband, HF, UHF, VHF, off of this HT. Yes, gentlemen, and ladies and gentlemen, I should say, it is true. You can do that. Do a little research. Uh, you find out some information about it. Some of the options on this radio, uh, 200 alpha memories, alphanumeric memory, APRS, like I said, takes 13.8 volts in the jack on the side, DTMF memory, uh, uh, the built-in TNC, Sky Command System 2, and uh, dual frequency receive. Okay, so it's a really nice radio. Um, uh, what can we do here? Let's uh, take a look. It doesn't have a, the stock antenna. It's got an aftermarket antenna. It's one of these thin ones. Uh, some people prefer them. They're real floppy. As you can see, they dance around. Okay, um, these two batteries, this is a uh, Battery America 1450 milliamp, 9.6 volt, that's the high output, that one's dead, it's got a shorted cell, uh, doesn't charge properly, this is the original battery that came with the radio, the uh, Nike hits, uh, was it 650 milliamp I think, that's dead, I got both of these to charge, they worked, they didn't charge again, so I'm putting them in the auction, in case you want to repack the cells. I know some guys like doing that. It's up to you. The, the BC-19 charger works perfect. As you can see, it's charging the battery right here. Um, this is a uh, 1100 milliamp, 9.6 volt battery in there. Uh, high amperage, so it does the high volts. Um, when you use a um, 9.6 volt battery, it does a full 5, 5.5 watts, depending on the band. If you use the uh, 7.2 volt battery, it, I think it does 3 or 4 watts, 3 or 3.5, three 4 watts. I'm not sure. I have to look it up to make sure. And I'll list it in the auction. So that's the difference between this is a 9.6 volt and it will do the full output. Just to show you, the display does work. It does light up. Okay, I'm sorry about the camera. I can't get a good, uh, good display here, but it does show you that the display does work. And here's the side. Press the talk. And this is the light that just turned on. This is to break the squelch. This is the volume. This is the tuning. Okay. Um, that on top is shows when it's transmitting or receiving. That's for UHF. Sorry about that. That's for VHF. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. The um, the joystick does work. Okay, all the buttons do work. Um, there's a little bit. There's there's some hairline. Yeah, there's somebody to keep up. There's some hairline scratches on the display. I think you could probably buff them out. I'm not good like that. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to mess with it. This is speaker, microphone connector, PC connector, and GPS connector. So all the connectors are on the side. Um, this is the battery clip. Okay, the little flap that goes over the 12-volt uh, adapter, if you want to put it in the car or use the, uh, the wall ward to charge, which doesn't come with it, it goes right here, it's, uh, it's missing. A uh, little bit of scratches on the bottom, that's where the battery comes off. Again, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand, so I'm going to have to see if I can uh, get it done. Um, again, it does work. Uh, let's see here. Let's see, memory recall. I'm trying to remember which button it is. There we go. I'll tell you what, let me put the camera down here. Turn it 
turn it off. I'll show you how the battery comes off. You flip it down and it comes off. Okay, so again, it shows right here. It might not be clear. TH7, THD7AG. It is the G model. It's the one that does the uh, Sky Command. Here's the working battery, 9.6, 1100 milliamps. is you fit it in and you just push up okay so I'll tell you what we're gonna go turn the radio on again and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a call now I'm inside of a brick house so this is a local repeater it might be a little bit noisy W9 MRB and 9 SSU hey Mike I'm showing off this uh, Kenwood T, uh, THD 7 ag doing a video. Uh, how's the audio on it? Real good, nice and clear. Sounds fantastic. As you can see, the SRF meter is working. Yeah, you've always liked Kenwood, so you're going to be a little biased there, Mike, but that's okay. Ah, yeah, I just want to show that it works. Showing off the uh, charger, the two batteries that don't work, so you might want to repack them. Um, go and take it up to CARP, which is a little bit stronger uh, repeater, so we can uh, show these people how it sounds. Okay, I'll be on a movie. QSY N9SSU. Okay, so we're going to go to another repeater, which is about 15, 20 miles away, but uh, it's a pretty powerful one. And let's go ahead and try it here. Nobody's on the frequency. W9MRB N9SSU. I might get yeah, a little bit less noise here because it's a little bit stronger repeater. Okay, appreciate it, Mike. Uh, I'm going to um, um, let's go to two meters real quick. Uh, let's pick a repeater which um, might not be. Uh, there's nobody on CFMC. You want to jump out there right now? You know how to get there? Yes. Actually, there's somebody just jumped on there right now. Uh, let's pick another one. Why don't you go ahead and pick another one, Mike? No, Mike, somebody's there. You're not listening. Somebody's there. Somebody's there. Let's pick another one. Are right, you repeat up with me at point? Um, hold on. Mike is uh, visually impaired, so he's going to find another frequency we can go to that's easy. So that's uh, that's why there's a little confusion here. Um, as you can hear, it's got good audio. It's working on UHF. We'll, we'll test it on VHF. Um, these are These are workhorses. They're really high demand. I just checked on eBay. There's 